So for this application, we built a recipe that, uh, let me just drag and drop this in here, that is, you know, it's a simple six steps long, uh, but is incredibly robust and it's able to uh, pick this up consistently. And I can demonstrate that now. So the first thing we do is we do a, a just contrast to uh, kind of adjust the levels of this uh, to make sure it is consistent, consistent enough for the bright texture uh, algorithm to run. And what this does is, uh, this is incredibly powerful because it, it brightens uh, regions that have uh, bright texture in it and it darkens the regions that do not. This is useful to us because we know that the wound itself will not have a lot of texture in it, uh, but the cells uh, will. So from here, we apply a simple uh, basic threshold that is adjusted uh, looking for dark features. We then pick up the largest feature, apply uh, a cleaning up step to remove anything in the edges that would have been picked up. Uh, this is really useful because oftentimes what happens is when cells around the edges, they get incredibly dense. Uh, it's kind of hard to differentiate between a texture in, in incredibly dense cells and in the wound itself. So removing something around it is, is actually really helpful. The last thing we do is we just fill in these holes to give us uh, the wound itself. So this is entirely, let me just save this really quick. Uh, let's kind of demonstrate this. So this is entirely batchable. This allows us to apply a single recipe to all of the images, even the ones that do not have a wound at all. Another set is much different in intensity, and it's just still being able is it's still being selected properly. So a recipe that is this robust is very helpful in uh, having a, a high throughput uh, type of uh, laboratory uh, where you know that uh, as long as you capture your images consistently, you can apply the same recipe to hundreds if not thousands of these and get data that, uh, that you can rely on. I would still recommend to go back through and uh, do some quality assurance in the batch process in our, in our process image editor, but uh, I would, um, this is a recipe that uh, is, is fairly impressive.